I was sent this pond pump for free for the purpose of this review. So let's go ahead and take this thing out of the box and check it out. All right, so out of the box, we have the manual, of course, that goes over everything you need to know about this pump. We have the mount that goes on the top of this pump that if you want to do like an ejection hose where you get just the vinyl hose that slips over this and then you put a hose clamp around that. There is a two inch coupler on this, but you can see though it is threaded on the outside and threaded on the inside. So if you wanted to thread in this adapter for a discharge hose, or if you wanted to plumb it with the PVC or something like that. Of course, it's got the extension cord because this is a 110, 120 volt motor. The front of this motor does have a removable screen. So if you want to remove the front of this screen, you have also right here is a threaded coupler on the front. So again, you could plumb the front of this if you needed to, but it's really meant to be a submersible pump. So that's why this screen is here. You would stick this down into your pond and it would pull the water into this and shoot the water out of here. Now this isn't a lightweight pump. This is a very heavy duty pump that's gonna move a lot of water. So we're not talking about a little koi pond here. This is a big pond pump that's gonna move a lot of water. All right, so before I go and install this in our pond, I wanted to test this out somewhere else to make sure everything's working properly on it. So this tanning shelf on our swimming pool is just deep enough to get the inlet fully submerged so we can pull the water in, but it's also shallow enough to let you see the amount of water flow we're gonna get out of this pump. So let's go ahead and plug this thing in and see just what kind of pressure and flow we're gonna get out of it. All right, so that is definitely a big stream of water coming out of there. Quite a bit of pressure. I don't even hear really the motor running. I just hear the water splashing, so it's a pretty quiet motor. And this is basically what we're gonna be doing with it. Of course, I'm gonna be plumbing it in and we're gonna put a water fountain at the end. Yeah, this thing looks like it's really gonna move a lot of water. All right, let me go ahead and turn this thing off. So definitely this pump would be great for a fountain or to transfer water or pump water through a large aquarium or a nice big fish pond or whatever kind of pond based landscaping you're wanting to do. Of course, it could be used for other things. I mean, when I plug this in and ran it through the pool, I'm over here thinking, well, it also uh, could drain your pool and be almost kind of like a sump pump. Again, we don't plan on using it for that, but hey, if you needed a quick way to drain your pool, you could just hook up a drain hose to that thing, throw it in your pool, plug it in, and I think your pool would be empty pretty quick. It's got a nice set of feet on it, so it should be nice and stable. If you needed to bolt this down to a platform or something, it does have holes in the feet so you could bolt it down. All right, so I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, if you would do that, that really helps us out. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Y'all take care.